Now the first thing you want to do is talk to this lady uh, right here at the corner. She will tell you that uh, she's lost all of her kukos. So what you want to do is grab a kuko real quick. Doesn't matter where you get it from. I suggest this one just because it's right nearby. And you want to go over here and jump over to this fenced-in area. Now you throw that back over that ledge down here will be another Kuko. As you saw, there was a hole in the ground. You can go in there and get 20 rupees. Um, you can either walk through the back of the potion shop right here, or, uh, or excuse me, right there, or maybe this house, and um, get the rupees. I'm not sure if you can access this at night, but it's definitely a good way to get back some money if you lost a lot on Dompe's minigame. Like I did. Anyway, so next up is a Kuko up the slider, so you do not want to jump back over the fence quite yet. You want to grab it, and you want to head this way. But instead of throwing it in the Kuko pin, you actually want to head to this under construction building and jump across. And then throw this one off the ledge and grab this one. So now we officially have all of the Kukos. Um, that require other Kukos to access, access. So now you can start throwing them in the pen at your will. Uh, there are a total of, let's see, there are seven, I think? So this is the second one. And the third. And, uh... Depending on the, how much time I have in the video, I might jump cut here, showing all the locations of the Kukos and throwing them in the pen. Here's another one. So one thing you'll want to do is, make it, if you enter this area during the day, I suggest doing this first. Like I said, there's more to do at night here in Kakariko Village the first time you enter, but there's still enough stuff you can do during the day. There's a Kuko right at the entrance of Kakariko Village, which uh, can sometimes be hard to find because you don't really expect to go all the way out to the entrance because it's so far back. Anyway, we have two Kukos left, and they are over here near the guard. One will be in this box, and the other will be up here on the ledge near the guard. Now we have all the Kukos uncovered, so there's eight or nine. I thought there were seven, but I think it's eight uh, or nine. <laughs> so, throw the Kukos in those pins, and we have one Kuko left. But yeah, just so you know, guys, I'm uh, making this LP because that is when the 3DS. Uh, remake of Ocarina of Time is being released. Well, at least when I upload the first video. Um, it'll either be the day of or the day after. And, um, yeah, so I encourage you all to play along with me if you have the 3DS remake. And, um, and just enjoy it. Anyway, so, she tells you that she can't catch her own Kukos because she's allergic to them and gets goosebumps when she touches them. And she gives you an empty bottle. This is very useful. For those of you who don't know, empty bottles are used to capture and hold things in the Zelda games. For example, we have a bug in our one empty bottle. We could capture a fairy, which appears uh, randomly during uh, if you cut certain grass, break jars, or visit fairy fountains. 
Uh, they can be used to revive you and things like that. So before we head up to Death Mountain, we have one last pit stop. We are going to want to head over to Kakiri Forest. When you enter Kakiri Forest, you are going to want it to be night, or you are going to want to uh, have the Sun Song and play the Sun Song if you enter during the day. Either way, it does not matter, but you want to get to Kakiri Forest. Um, so I will meet you at Kakiri Forest when it's night. So here we are in the Kakiri Forest. It's nighttime now, as you can tell. Uh, if you need to, you can play the Sun Song when you enter here, just to turn it to night. Anyway, right here, this is the Know-It-All Brothers house, if you need to read signs in order to find your way around. And uh, right back here behind it will be a gold sculpture. Um, you need to backflip over this uh, route if you want to get over it, or you have to walk around the house. I just chose to backflip because it is a bit faster. And you need to jump attack to grab hold of it. Alright, so that is all of the Sculptulas. Um, well, actually, it's not all of the Sculptulas, but you're going to want to play the Sun Song, make it day again, because you might need it to be day for the next area, and you can find your way around a bit easier in most cases. So, the first thing you want to do after you change it back to day is head back towards the shop area. If You, you may have noticed it uh, back when you were first here, that there is a patch of soil back here, which means there is a gold sculptula. So you want to recapture your bugs because it releases three at a time instead of one at a time. And you just need to capture one bug. Anyway, a gold sculptula will appear and you can do it. And yeah, one less sculptula you have to worry about. Alright, so now you want to enter the Lost Woods, because you cannot advance into the next area without it. You can go up to Death Mountain, and uh, into the Death Mountain City, uh, but you can't advance anywhere past that without coming back to the Lost Woods. So you are required to head back to the Lost Woods no matter what. So whether you go to Death Mountain first, or... Uh, here first, you have to come back to this area. Now, if you walk up this log, or the stump, I should say, and take out your ocarina, two Skull Kids will want you to play, essentially, Simon said with your Simon says with your ocarina. So you have to follow uh, their song. Now, because this is so long and drawn out, I will be cutting ahead to the end of each song. After one attempt, they will give you a green rupee. So we need to do this again. We have to do it three times in a row. After the second time, they will give you a blue rupee. And now for the third and final time. Alright, and finally, I got the last uh, of the three memory games, and I got a piece of heart. Technically, you can get this anytime after you've gotten the ocarina, uh, so after you get the ocarina, you could easily head back in and get this heart piece. I just find it more efficient to get it when you actually have to head back to the Lost Woods. So when you enter this area, there will be the owl. Hey, over here, hoo hoo! Link, good to see you again. Listen to this, hoo hoo! After going through the Lost Woods, you will come upon the Sacred Forest Meadow. That is a sacred place where few people have ever walked. Shh, what's that? I can hear a mysterious tune. You should listen for that tune, too. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No, thank you. If you are courageous, you will make it through the forest just fine. Just follow your ears and listen to the sounds coming from the forest. Hoo -hoo. Alright, so, you want to listen at near the, uh, the hollow logs for um, the music. Now, once you enter the Lost Woods and you take right, left, right, left, left, you enter a secret path. Not really secret, but um, 
You want to dump a bottle of bugs right here on this dirt patch. Anyway, that will really say you don't expect to like you Alright, and this is one of the last few skull chillas you have here in the Lost Woods. Um, next, you want to get out your skull mask and look for the yellow butterflies and run around that area for a hole in the ground uh, that you can enter. may take a minute to find. Usually I can find it right up there we go. Um, anyway, so put on your skull mask when you enter and there will be a whole ton of Deku scrubs. And they swarm you and love you and all that big stuff. So anyway, you want to work your way over here. And eventually their leader will pop out. All of the young Deku Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku sticks. We will also enhance your carrying skills. Abracadabra! Alakazam! So basically, he'll allow you to carry up to 20 Deku sticks, and he will completely fill up your stick uh, count. Anyway, once you get the Deku stri stick upgrade, you'll want to head out to the Lost Woods and listen for the music. you want to take it right here, and you will enter the Sacred Forest Meadow. Now when you come here, there will be what's called a little foes. Now their weak spot is their back. Um, so what you want to do is lure them to attack you. Dodge their attack. Do not shield, and um, they will spin around. Then all you have to do is jump attack their back, and they will instantly die. Uh, now, this is kind of a maze, but it's really, there's only one way to go, so it's not that hard. Um, regardless of what path you choose to follow, uh, it's very easy. You may want to bring out your Deku shield, or shield whenever they shoot out those Deku nuts, but I find it just as effective to just run past them if you don't really need to worry about health. So when you enter this part of the meadow, you'll see Saria playing her ocarina. And she is the source of the background music in the Lost Woods. I've been waiting for you, Link. This is the Sacred Forest Meadow. It's my secret place. I feel this place will be very important for both of us someday. That's what I feel. If you play the ocarina here, you can talk with the spirits in the forest. Would you like to play the ocarina with me? Of course you say yes, and she says try to follow along with the melody I will play. Are you ready? I accidentally messed up. The C-Stick is kind of awkward to use when you're playing the ocarina. I accidentally hit left twice. <laughs> anyway, you'll get Saria's song. And she'll ask you if you will forget the song. And she says every time you want to hear her voice just to play it. Like I said, you learned Saria's song, and it's got mysterious power to it. Uh, the mysterious power is um, really just to cheer people up and uh, prove that you're going to be friends with them. So whereas Zelda's lullaby has the power to um, open up doors and things like that where the royal family's emblem is located, uh, Saria's song will symbolize friendship and bring the power of friendship, 
and um, the Sun Song will change it from day to night, night to day, etc., etc. Alright, so, this is a fairy's fountain. Uh, hidden here in the labyrinth. Uh, it has an unlimited supply of fairies that you can get, so I'm going to catch one in our empty bottle, um, just so that if I ever die, uh, because I'm kind of low on health right now, I'll be fine. Um, so now we want to head out of the maze, of course, and uh, head back to the entrance of the Lost Woods. Uh, there is a very easy shortcut, and that is to just get the wrong, go through the wrong path uh, in the Lost Woods, and you'll automatically be warped outside. Anyway, when you come out here, the owl will be here again. Did you learn an ocarina song from Saria? That melody seems to have some mysterious power. There may be some other mysterious songs like this that you can learn in Hyrule. If you hold the ocarina with C, or a melody is necessary, a musical staff will appear. I recommend that you play a song that you know. I also suggest that you play even when a score is not displayed. Just like this. <laughs> Do you want to hear what I said again? Of course not. <laughs> melodies you have learned will be recorded on the quest status subscreen. You should memorize those melodies. And, like I said, the owl appears a lot in the beginning of the game, but he uh, tends to disappear after this point for quite a while. Anyway, so once you're back in the Kakiri Forest by taking a path that does not lead to another path in the Lost Woods, you want to head to the left. Now, once you hop on the stump and play Saria song, he will give you a reward. You know Saria song. We should be friends. Here, take this. And he gives you a piece of heart, and we've collected two pieces of heart. Alright, so now you want to put on the mask and speak to him. Hee <laughs> hee, under that mask, aren't you that Kakiri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Yowza, I'm gonna wear this all the time. And he gave you 10 rupees for a 20 rupee mask. So you lost some money on it, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is actually the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask before he turns evil. Um, so that is definitely something interesting. Anyway, now what we want to do is head all the way back to Castletown Market uh, and get another mask from the Happy Mask Salesman. So I will meet you at the Happy Mask Salesman. I almost forgot to get this Skull Chula, but right here at the Skull Kid that we were just at, if you take a left into this log, will be another patch of soil. Which will have a Skull Chula. Alright, so now I will meet you at the Happy Mask Salesman. Alright, so we're back here, and I just gave him the uh, 20 rupees back. So now we're going to want to get this spooky mask. It actually looks like a redead. Um, and now we want to take it to Kakariko Village. Uh, not to mention we need to head to Kakariko Village to get to the next part in... Uh, this story, so I will meet you back at Kakariko Village in the graveyard. Alright, so back here in the graveyard, if you're here during the day, you'll see the kid imitating uh, to be uh, Dompe. When you talk to him with the spooky mask on, he'll be like, Hey, it's Dompe the Gravekeeper! Ah! And he's like, Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dompe. Will you give that mask to me? With this mask, I'll be just like Dompe. Here's my money. He sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price, and he didn't even mind paying at all. Let's get back to the mask shop to pay 30 rupees for the mask. You can get the new mask model too. Anyway, so now he'll wear that mask. So we've officially gotten 
uh, three masks done. Now there are only four that uh, you need to do. You don't technically need to do any of them. But there's a grand total of four that you have to do for all of the mask side quests to be done. So, we're preparing to end the video, guys, unfortunately. Um, so, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Ocarina of Time, we'll head up Death Mountain. This is the Blade Gamer. See you next time. Thank you.